Hello there. Hello guys, welcome back to the channel. You're with Alpha Omega occasionally. And on this occasion, we're talking about starting a family. Uh, it might not interest you at this stage of life. It definitely, didn't, it definitely didn't interest me at the stage of my life where I started one. Um, but just to give you a heads up on it, when I came to Thailand, I had no, let's say, I did not, not, no, no inkling, no, no desire, let's say, no desire. When I came to Thailand, I had no, absolutely no desire, no wish, no the thought never even crossed my mind. Why would it? Because I was 47 years old and I didn't have any, let's say, desire to start a family. But that's not how it panned out. And I'm pretty happy that it's panned out the way it has. Some people question the wisdom of starting a family when you're 54. That's what I was. I was 54 years old when, I, when we had uh, our son, Harry. And you might say to yourself, my God, that's pretty old to have a child. Well, it probably is. It probably is, if you think about it. But there's one thing about having a kid or a child in your 50s. It keeps you young. Having a child in the, when I was 50, Having a child in my 50s has given me a new lease of life. The fact that I have a son who's now five years old, it gave me the... It was a kick, as we say in Ireland, it was a kick up the arse. It was a kick up the arse to stop smoking. It was a kick up the arse to, to get fit. It's which I, that's what I did, I quit smoking and then I started the OMAD diet, that's the one meal a day, and I was walking five kilometres per day. And I lost 30 kilos because I said to myself, I can't control the years. In other words, there's no, no, no way I can roll back the years, but I can affect the effect that the years have on me. And that's what I did. But I will say, that's how I set out and I more or less stuck to a regime of walking five kilometres every day, eating one meal a day, losing the weight. But you can't keep that up forever. You, you, you know, you've got to live a life. So needless to say, I don't walk five kilometres every day and I'm not on the OMAD diet one meal a day. I eat regularly and I eat sufficiently and more than sufficiently and exercise the exercise that I get now is the exercise I get when I go down to Wigwang Night Market to shoot a video for the big picture El Panorama and that that in itself is a good bit of exercise because it's about it's just under a kilometre from here to the market, I walk it. And I walk up and down the market for about two or three hours, you know, talking to the girls and this, that and the other. I rarely remain, remain static. And then I walk home. So I, I could probably say I get about three or four kilometres of exercise a day just by doing that. Um, my, my, my nemesis is the beer. In doing that, in making those videos, um, I find myself, because it's a kind of a, a lively environment full of noise and beautiful women and food and entertainment, I, I, you know, I, I avail of the, the, the entertainment, let's say, uh, on a regular basis. In other words, I have a few beers during the proceedings. So I've gone down a slippery slope there, but, you, but at, the, at the end of the day, you've got to live your life. And having a child in your 50s gives you, I won't say a re we all have a reason for living, but just for the want of a better phrase, gives you a new reason for living. And I don't feel, I'm 58 years old, well I'm 59 in a couple of months, I don't feel 58 years old, 59 in a couple of months. I feel whatever I feel. I feel young enough to be able to play with my son. I feel young enough to go and do my videos in Wigwang Night Market between 10pm and 2am in the morning every day 
and it's wonderful life is wonderful so having a child in your 50s is a marvelous idea it didn't seem so at the time when it was suggested to me the as you all probably know the early years you know the, the getting up at four o'clock in the morning doing a, a bottle feed and winding and all that kind of stuff that, that was a nightmare and i i wouldn't want to go through it again and i think that having a child when you're 54 and having a child when you're 64 is a completely different kettle of fish um so i wouldn't be let's say enthusiastic about having a child at this stage again but however if it happened it happened and it's wonderful that it has happened and i i can tell you as i said it gives me it has given me a new lease of life so there you go. When is it too early, or too, sorry, I should say, when is it too late to start a family? That's relative. But I can tell you from my point of view and my experience, it's never too late. And it's never too late to click that like button. It's never too late to click the share button. And it's never too late to click the subscribe button. If you haven't done that already, please do it now. And guys, come back again for another wonderful video very soon. Thanks for joining me.